Making your way up in the world is still not as easy as it should be for women, but there are more and more breaking down the barriers. Katie is an award-winning crane driver. I've come to meet her with Lois, an apprentice in building services, and Catherine, a structural engineer. You're all working in an industry that's male-dominated. Does that bother you, Katie? It doesn't bother me as such. I think, if anything, it gives you slightly more leverage. There's a stereotype out there about engineers being always a male with a beard and a hard hat and high vis. But in reality, most of the time, I'm wearing a dress and working at my desk, um, doing calculations, doing drawings and working on computer software. I feel like I'm listened to. I f I'm treated the same as everybody else. So you don't feel any different being a woman in terms of where you're going to go in your career? No, not at all. I don't feel like there's any barrier stopping me. Yeah, it's really nice to see a lot more females coming into the industry, especially at the younger ages, um, so it's becoming a lot better. It's great to hear their optimism, but what about those a bit further on in their careers? Jennifer and Bina have very different jobs, but felt the same pressures when they had children. There's guilt lurking at every corner, guilt that you can't do your job in the way in which you want to do it, and guilt that you're not there for your children. I've got two children, um, first fine, second, had my second, I worked for the biggest international law firm and was made redundant, um, literally effectively on my first day back at work um, and it, it affected me mentally so badly. And in fact it became so stressful for me in the end, I set up my own business and left so I could define my own working hours. For anyone to get to the top in business, it takes a lot of graft. So what about the few women who have made it? Do they think they've had a harder time because they're a woman? It takes courage almost every day to speak out and speak up for gender balance and gender equality. Let's do this together. Let's get men being the biggest um, voices, the strongest voices for getting gender equality up there and, um, and that's the only way I think we're going to do it. Yeah. Looking back I probably adopted quite masculine codes to get to the top in what is essentially still today very masculine businesses. Most businesses are run by men and I think I just work longer, harder and faster. All those feminine traits of empathy, collaboration, communication, all the things that were seen as not quite tough enough in business is going to be the future. So what would their advice be to young women? Go out with a, a positive energy. I think any business that you go into and with a can-do energy always gets you on. I think collaborate with the other women in business because change only happens when people come together. Reach out to your network, believe in your ability and go after every scary opportunity that comes along. Back on the construction site, I definitely feel like these young women are being given more opportunities than they would have done in the past. So that should mean in future, we won't need to make a special film about women doing jobs like these or running companies because it won't be unusual.